All right, Ulta Beauty. I want to get to that. Ulta Beauty. Do you know what Ulta Beauty is? Tyler, do you know what Ulta is? Guys don't know about this stuff. I, I know what Ulta is. I've bought a few gift cards from there. Oh, how nice. It's a website. I like it. I fancy it. I'm not going to lie. I like the girly things. Makeup, skin care, hair care. It's mostly, I'm not saying you can't find products for guys there. I'm sure you can. But girls like, girls dig the site. Um, they recently started a podcast called The Beauty Of. This episode was called The Beauty of Girlhood. So I originally saw the title and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. The Beauty of Girlhood. That's nice. And then I see who's on the episode. Well, <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney, a biological man who is currently transitioning to being a woman via drugs, is the guest on the Beauty of Girlhood episode. And who is Dylan talking to? David Lopez, a gender fluid, I don't know, is he a photographer, I think? I think he's a photographer. Um, pretty sure so where can I just ask on the beauty of girlhood episode where are the girls just wondering I'm just curious it seems like a question that should have an answer so they put out a video and people went nuts bonkers a lot of women went bonkers they did not anticipate that reaction of course not because they think everybody lives in a bubble and everybody absorbs their bullshit and regurgitates it but some of us are still free thinking people unfortunately for them let's watch the promo video now I know I can find love. I know I can still be a performer. I know that I can have a family. I want to be a mom one day. And I absolutely can. Mm -hmm. And that's why the narrative still has a long way to go. Because when I was grieving Boy Dylan, I didn't know those things were even accessible to me. Now I know. So he can't become a mom. Okay. It's a man who's trying to become a woman and we're going to show you a video because Dylan is actually very public about this transition and has 8 million TikTok followers um, and part of his her whatever you want to I, I don't know story is to talk about this transition and the drugs and all that now nothing against Dylan by the way I have no problem with Dylan Dylan could be a lovely individual no problem Dylan can is free is a grown adult free to live the life that she I guess that's the pronoun we're supposed to use whatever wants for herself i have no issue with it i'm all for adults building the life they want for themselves what what i do have an issue with though is the fact that ulta chose to have an episode about girlhood and didn't feature a girl tell me what a biological male knows about what it has been like to live life as a female you didn't get a period you didn't go through pu puberty as a girl you didn't date as a girl in those formative years you're not a girl you're not a girl, so why, why do this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it was more important for Ulta to be woke than it was to be just or honest. You can't, the idea that we're now saying that men can be moms takes away from women. Why does no one see that? Me being a mom has been the greatest gift of my life. My husband can't do that. He can be a dad. He can be a dad and I can't be a dad. I could be a mom. I don't want that taken away from me in the name of woke causes. That is the single greatest accomplishment of my life. Women should be fighting for this stuff. Biological women should be fighting to hold on to this stuff. Guys can't give birth. They can't carry babies. They're different. They're not us. So women came back and they said, we're gonna boycott this company because we are tired of being disregarded. We are tired of being pushed to the side in the name of the latest woke cause. It used to be cool to defend women. Remember that? That was the woke cause, was that men were bad and you had to defend women at all. Now that's not cool anymore. We're into stage three now. Now, biological women, you're out. Now it's only cool to defend trans women. That's it. Even the gays are out. The gays aren't cool enough. No, 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 gotta be trans. That is the issue of the moment. It's the issue of the moment in media. It's the issue of the moment in pharma run media, by the way, because they're gonna make a shit ton of profit off of these, these drugs and they're gonna have lifetime customers. So everybody, everybody get in line now, get in line. Let's throw women under the bus. We don't care anymore. By the way, where are the Gloria Steinem feminists to defend women now? Shh, cowards, cowards. You're a coward, Gloria Steinem. You were a coward when you didn't hold Bill Clinton accountable and you're a coward now when you're not standing up for biological women against this nonsense. Where are you? Disgusting. 
So I looked into Dylan Mulvaney, by the way. Um, I wanted to see the channel. Let's pull that up. I just want to give you context. This is not to rip on Dylan, but Dylan does not belong in an episode about girlhood. Dude, the, the, the people do not like this at all. No. I, these comments are every single yeah. one is negative. It's yeah, blackface, sorry. but more whiny. I'm black, and this is worse yeah. than blackface. She, the people do not like that. Let's play this video, and then we're going to talk about why, really. That's a, a great point, actually, that was brought up about blackface. But this is, this is Dylan. Let's just watch the video. Breaking news. It's day 220 of being a girl, and we have another boob update. I have been on hormones now for 10 months, and I started to dissolve my estrogen pills under my tongue, which some of my trans gal friends told me to do. And I'm not a doctor, so don't take my word for it. But I'm telling you, it's working so much better. I mean, can you kind of tell the little bit of change in my face? And look, I have boobs. Like, there's no question about it. And this is officially my boob shirt, right? But uh, wow, look at that side angle, whoa. But sometimes I forget that I have them. Like yesterday, I hopped out of the shower and my Uber Eats delivery was here. So I wrapped myself in a towel around my waist to go get it. And as I was opening up the front door, I remembered that I have these and that I can't just show them off. And you know, thank God the delivery person had already walked away. So we can stop it there. Seen. You know who doesn't forget that they have boobs? Girls, girls, because we grow up and they're, we're very aware that things are changing and we go through puberty as a girl. So again, no disrespect to Dylan. I, he, honestly, seems like a lovely person, very entertaining. Honestly, I'm being sincere about that. No disrespect, live the life that you wanna live. Everyone needs to be entitled to do that. We live in a free society for a reason. But there is something deeply wrong with a culture and a company that just pushed all real girls aside to do an episode on girlhood with a biological man who doesn't know anything about being a girl. And why can't we say that? There could have been a different episode about trans people and transition and what that means. That's where Dylan belonged. And that would have been fine with me, by the way. There are people who would love to tune into that people who share a similar experience and, and want to know what Dylan's experience has been like. But to put, do an episode on girlhood, the reason people were upset and talking about blackface and all that is because what they're seeing is that girlhood to Ulta equates with a costume and with what often looks like a bad Halloween costume. I'm going to be honest with you. And they're saying that's not what being a girl is. That's not what it is. It's about way, way, way more than that. And it starts really young and it's about going through life and experiencing those things as a girl and then woman. And I'm so tired of all of this stuff being taken away from women. Again, the going through puberty as a woman is a unique experience. It's different from what it means to go through that as a man. Can we not now have that as ours? Getting a period for the first time is wild. It's a wild thing. It's scary. It's fun. It's, it's exciting. It's a whole bunch of stuff. I still remember that moment. I won't share it with everyone because, you know, but I still remember it. It's a big moment. You know, getting pregnant was crazy. Carrying a little human being inside your stomach that you watch get fingers and toes and kicks you and, and you know, puts his little hands. I mean, it's it's wild. Women are real life superheroes in many respects, as are men in different respects. But I'm tired of this getting taken away from women in the name of wokeness. If you wanna watch the full episode, you're gonna click right here. And if you wanna ask me a question one-on-one, -on -one, you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with a group of your friends, whatever you want, you need to download Minect right now. Click right here and let's get talking.